Welcome to Make Lemonade, brought to you by Young Boss Media. I'm your host, Yamina Lejean, and today we are discussing what in the world do we do now? My co-hosts today are comedian Trina B. Real, mental health specialist Chantel Doswell, money management specialist Queen Candice, event curator Jay Rose, youth and mental health activist Jasmine Ballou, and CEO of Young Boss Media, Monica Grant. Once again, I'm Yamina Lejean, and I'm a choreographer, artistic director, producer, and dance educator. Now, before we get into these topics, ladies, how are y'all making it out? Making it out through all of this going on in the world? I'm glad. Wow. I'm trying to survive, because I'm home with my parents and my children. Um, so I'm doing the best I can mm. to keep the children entertained and keep my parents off my back. <laughs> Who in the house with kids right now? Who's got kids in their house? Do fur babies count? No. No, that's right. No. I'm trying not to go to jail because mine don't want to get up on time for the Zoom. Me getting up, waking them up, and then they want to roll back and go to sleep is a problem right now because I keep getting a text and I'm doing my part. I want the teacher to know if you're watching me right now, I'm doing my part. I get up and I'm waking them up. So I don't know what else you want me to do. Come get That's your it. kids. Come get your kids. Come get your kids. Don't be. Mm -hmm. Come get your kids. How we doing over there, Jasmine? Balu? I'm doing good. Trying. I'm doing good. Trying to stay creative. Trying to, you know. I'm still staying in quarantine. My job's trying to get me to come back, but I'm not coming back for another month, so. I don't know, I'm just trying to stay creative so I don't lose my mind because I'm used to going out all the time, like at least like once or twice during a week. So this staying home isn't, is pretty new to me. I'm not used to it. So, but I'm doing good though. That's awesome. What about you, Chantel? You know, I'm hanging out with my sister in my apartment, getting into all types of shenanigans and then working, doing videos and meetings and all sorts of stuff for therapy with people. People are stressing mm. out in their house. So that's mm -hmm. mostly what I'm doing. I'm on my computer and my phone and all that all day. Okay, what about you over there, boss lady Monica? You know I'm over here making things happen. You know, I don't care where I'm at. We gonna move in progress all, all day always, you know? Happy to see y'all beautiful faces during the quarantine. Okay. And Jay Rose, you was letting us, how you, letting us know how you were feeling? Um, well, I've been keeping myself busy working with you guys, doing my own virtual events, um, trying to just plan out for what happens after this, um, because that's that's also important to, to my business and what I do. For sure. Right. For sure. And Trina, I know you was over there letting us know how you was doing over there, girl. You know, I'll, I'll just nice and lemonade. You know, it's not, it's not as bad as it seemed. The only part, like I said, is, is now that I'm a full-time chef at home, I mean, you know, they, they, they don't tip. They don't tip, you know? <laughs> and and they, they eat a lot. <laughs> they eat more. They eat, <laughs> they eat so much. I want to know where the food is going. Now I know why I needed all this dang on toilet paper. Because that's all they do is eat shit and sleep. That's it. Eat shit and sleep. <laughs> Pretty much all that's going down in my house. I, I, I'm, I'm the maid. I'm cooking. I'm cleaning. I want to okay. go back. To, I want to go back to work where I get paid. I heard that. We all trying to get paid. Like, really get paid. So before we start talking about some money, y'all, let's get into these topics. So the first topic we're going to talk about is... Dun, dun, dun. Trump. So Trump is saying that the coronavirus is just going to go away and we won't need a vaccination. What y'all think about that? I think that's just not how viruses work. I think that's just not how any of this works. <laughs> somebody needs to come get their mans. If that's your mans, listen, listen if that's your man, Tag him out. <laughs> Don't tag him in and tag him out. <laughs> I think I think it's like his hairline, not even. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's like that skin tone. It ain't right. You know, like I ain't trusting nobody that you you can't get your skin and your hair. Them two are two components that you take pride in. And you have been, you know, 
you are the national spokesperson for those these American folks. I'm other. I don't know about nobody else up here today, but I'm other. I'm choosing the other side on that little check mark. I'm gonna do the other vote. And um, oh, I ain't really oh. feeling bro. You know, I ain't feeling it. Because matter of fact, yesterday when he was on his, it's supposed to have been a live thing from the White House. I videoed it and it was not live because I, I'm in television and the voice delay was way off from the verbal delay. Like his words was a murder mm. mouth and what he was saying. I said, well, his mouth is saying something and his words are saying something else. This ain't right. So I don't know when mm. they tape this stuff. I'm scared. <laughs> yeah. We are living in some scary times, man. He says one mm -hmm. thing, then another thing, and sometimes it just makes you feel like, am I really, is it really 2020? Like, we was just sitting here popping bottles, talking about 2020, new me, new this, new that. I mean, at least that's what I was seeing mm -hmm. on Instagram. And now, you know, we done lost Kobe. We done lost all these people. We got the coronavirus that happened after that. Like, it just been so much going on. So, um, you know, just... I just say, just stay knowing in the news, but I don't like to turn on my TV too much because then I'm going to hear all this goofy ball stuff. But anyways, mm -hmm. let's get on. Would you guys, oh, sorry. Uh, Can I ask a question real quick? What's up? Yes, Would yes. you guys trust a vaccine if it came out? Like, I'm right now, afraid. if one came out, would you guys trust it? No, I'm not a fan. <laughs> this I'm man that said to inject yourself with disinfectant. I ain't trusted nothing he okay. over here put. <laughs> no. no. I don't know. They gave that. us syphilis. No. <laughs> Listen, let right. me say this to you. Ever since they gave that, they got all these vaccinations. I'm going to be on my Lisa Bonet right now. Since 1990, we knew these vaccinations have not been good for our children or for us. No, we have conformed to what we said we had to do because we wanted our children to get in school and we wanted them and we didn't do our national we didn't fight for our rights then I'm fighting for my rights now because right now I don't know what you giving me I don't know if you giving me the corona I don't know if I was probably exempt right. and surviving it now I won't survive this strand mm -hmm. you shooting up in me so I don't know if I trust them I don't trust the leadership That's right, right. But you see all, yeah, these, all yeah. those those no. kids that are going to Tanzania, they're already infected with corona. What? Yeah, they're it's already up. infected. They got corona on them, so you one, you infect yourself, and then of course you're going to test positive. Come on. Mm, yeah. yeah. I'm not a fan of the vaccines because I'm a, I, my son, he's five years old, and he's had six febrile seizures, and they're seizures that are triggered by mm. fever, and they're always within like 30 days of having a vaccination. And I, I'm, I really feel wow. like the vaccine. And when I try to like express, and what frustrates me about these doctors is that they get paid by these med, these companies, sure. um, you know, okay. medical companies, pharmaceutical that companies, companies. pharmaceutical companies. They get paid to push this onto our our people. But when you try to bring your mm. concerns up to these doctors, they be like, "Oh no, that's not what that's isn't that has nothing to do with the virus. This is normal." When I was a kid. Kids did not have seizures from fever. That right. was right. Mm -hmm. different. Now they try to tell me like, oh, this is normal. This happens to a lot of children. And the more parents I speak to, the more children my son's age, I keep hearing like, yeah, my, my child has had this too. My child has had this too. And they tell you, oh, it goes away when they're five years old. Why? Because that's when the vaccinations wow. stop. You know, that's when like the, the, right. the constant vaccinations stop and it becomes something that there's more time you know, sometimes I, I, I don't take him. And then when I do, they try to like pump him up with like all the vaccinations that he's missed. And I'm like, no, 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 no. You're not going to give him right. three or four shots right now. Right. So a month now. I'm in the hospital with this boy having a seizure. Like I'm not having it. And they don't, and the schools force yeah, us definitely. to do it. They don't let the kids in the school without it. Mm -hmm. and it's like, it, it puts mm -hmm. parents in a rock and a hard place because I can't even like go by my beliefs. I can't even go by what I know is right for my, my child. Like, Polio vaccine? When's the last time you heard somebody had fucking polio? Like, let's be real. Right. Right. Wait a minute, though. But is that because of the vaccine? Hmm? Is that because of the vaccine? That's no. a fair question. I'm not 100% in the camp of vaccines don't work. No. I'm in the camp of that they may not all be great and they may not all actually work, but at the same right. time, like, there's a lot of people who have medical chronic diseases, all sorts of issues that are mitigated by medicine. 
So it's like, I can't be 100% on the boat of like, modern medicine is here to, is here to all infect us. But as a black person, mm. I am not going to be first in line to test anything. I yeah. agree. Like Daniel said, like previously, like before times, it wasn't like this, right? So there must have been some kind of tri like shift and transition to where it's now extremely toxic. Like I'm scared to have a kid because if you force me to vaccinate mm -hmm. my kid and my kid starts having mm -hmm. seizures, I'm going to jail. Cause who I got to kill? Mm -hmm. There's no reason for my kid to be having seizures. That's nuts. That's bananas. I'm going to jail. I can't. Yeah, mm -hmm. no. well, also, I think that we... let's, let's be clear though. When I let's go further back, polio was created. These things start getting created because of how they start manufacturing and mass producing these animals. So a lot of things that were created that we like because they we didn't have all these things. People weren't getting vaccinated and going to school. We these ailments came from man starting to create these warfare, germ warfare, and all these other different right. things. Yeah. By the food, mass producing food, things that we weren't naturally having, the fertilizer, all kind of mm -hmm. different things that were not playing with nature, basically playing with nature. And what they did to us by doing that, by speeding up, trying to feed people in the masses, is so much into it, but it's too much, it's too big for us to even get into. You know what I mean? Like the it's so much money it's definitely and so much really big. Yeah, like there's yeah, a lot of money that goes into there's a lot of money that goes into these uh, pharmaceutical companies, and I just feel like as Black people, we need to continue to educate ourselves. Not just Black people, people of color, and people. Period. You always want to make sure that you educate mm -hmm. yourself. And I agree with you, Chantel. I'm not going to be first in line. I, I got to give it a few years. My mama told me give it ten years. So like. If it's out, I, I ain't with it. It's only been, it hasn't even been a full year. But, um, you know, just keep educating yourself on that and, you know, letting your parents and your kids know what and what not to do. But we got to stay on top of, of it for ourselves. So right. let's move on to the next topic, y'all. So it's a big kudos, kudos for the ladies in music, the black Ooh. ladies in music. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... First time in history, four black women are in the number one and number two spot in Billboard history. So we have number one with Doja Cat and Nicki Minaj, and two, Megan Thee Stallion and Beyonce. So we're at number one and number two. And I don't care if people hate on these ladies, as ladies at the end of the day, they made some moves and this is historical and something that we can always talk about. And at, at the same time, encourage our young ladies you know to keep pushing for their dreams and their goals and their, their music because times have been changing it's not the mm -hmm. best but things have been you know things um they move forward in time so how do y'all feel about the four four black women being in number one two number one and two spot in billboard music history y'all I, think, I mean, I think it's, what does that say to us? It's, it's perfect. Like we <laughs> stepping into the age of Aquarius, the matriarch is rising, mm -hmm. the divine feminine is rising, and we are like like Megan Thee Stallion and Beyonce and Nicki Minaj. That's that whole sexual vibration, mm -hmm. get it popping. Yeah. You know I mean? So like I, I'm loving it. I'm loving anything that that we could do to represent ourselves and and be powerful and make some money moves. I love it all day. Yeah. Yeah. Really I love it. Yeah, I love Megan Thee Stallion. So can't put too many yeah, stamps on love. Black excellence. You know what I mean? It looks beautiful. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really proud of them, and I, I love seeing you know women of color like rising to the top and being acknowledged. You know, my thing is like, well, what are they gonna do with it? You know, um, because now you know they are looked at as there's young girls looking up to them now saying, wow, like if they can do it, like look at Nicki Minaj, a girl from Jamaica, Queens, like up in the billboards, you know, and she's had hit after hit after hit. But it's like, mm -hmm. what are they going to do with that? You know, are they going to use that power to continue empowering other young girls? Or are they going to take that and like, mm -hmm. you know, idolize this ratchet persona or like these, you know, over-sexualized personas then now, like, what are our young girls going to really aspire? Are you going to aspire to be half naked on a video, rapping about having sex with a bunch of guys? Or are they going to use that power to really, like, 
shift the narrative and show young girls that they have to be dedicated and, and work really hard to get to, to get what they want. So for me, it's like, I'm proud of them, but it's like, now what are you going to do with that power? Like, what are you going to do with that, with that number one and number two slot, you know? Right. I totally agree that's understandable. with you. And um, they, they hold, they hold something that's powerful. So as women, as women in media, we just use that and we show if they're going to keep showing them the booty and the titties, we show them the opposite. Well, you know, I like to mix it up. You know what I mean? But we just keep showing a variety of, <laughs> you can't put a example <laughs> for black women like Trina said. Right? And I think, and, I, and, I, and as well as I want to say, and, and All right. just to well, put a stamp let's on it. to our last topic list. This is a very right. emotional hello yeah, yeah. Trina, is that you yeah no i was just saying but to put a stamp on it we're gonna always see a little shaking of the ass that's normal what we do is now we have a balance <laughs> of knowing you know that we can help navigate some of the shaking because you know we got that classy <laughs> right ra- we got classy ratchet in us all yes. we all put a little classy ratchet when yeah, we all go shake it. okay right. it's mine to shake <laughs> we need to get that. oh yeah the shame for That's everything. Of, every little thing mm-hmm. of black every little thing a black girl does, somebody want to shame her for. We need to get past that. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. That's why I had to put. That's why I had to put that stamp. That's why I had to put that stamp on that. You know, we gonna we gonna shake a little something, but we gonna we gonna we gonna clean it up too. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> With different levels. Educating Jerry. Educating Jerry. And gyrate. So now we're going to educate and gyrate onto this next topic. And it's not the, the <laughs> most uh, uh, colorful and happy topic. We have um, men who killed Ahmaud Arbery have been arrested. And now there are there's new footage out saying that he was trespassing and people giving all these excuses of why these men did what they did. I don't agree with it. I think it's a it's a bunch of bullshit, and it, it's just going to be. It can be one of those situations where they get off, or it could be the opposite. What do y'all think about that? How could he be trespassing? I started if they shot him in the middle of a road. Like, right? Trespassing where? Yeah, like, where was <laughs> he street? supposed to be trespassing? Well, the way the video, was from, saying from my understanding, was... from my understanding, it was a vacant house. And just like anybody, just like any of us, if we see a vacant house and we might want to be a homeowner, we might stop in because that's what we do. And look and, mm. and look and see what it has in there. So am I going to be a burglar now if I stop and look in a vacant house? Do I have to worry? Do I have to, uh, do I need to knock on a neighbor's door and say, listen, I'm not going to steal nothing, but I want to see what's in here because I might want to buy this house right or was it, was it already or, or was it already because when you when somebody played the tape back and you see the flags in that neighborhood we won't post to be in that neighborhood and i don't know if aubrey knew that maybe he bought a house two blocks over and was running down the street and ain't know them two streets over he won't really welcome okay right. <laughs> okay and then they started so they had confederate and- flags is what you're saying they had Trump signs. They have to have confederate. That's just, that's, uh, the Trump sign is enough. Just as mm-hmm. bad. Mm-hmm. They had Trump signs in their yard. Trump signs on their boat, on their truck. Trump Listen. signs on their on their baby. Trump three signs. Blocks away, three blocks it's away Trump. from my house, there's a house where there's an American flag and a Trump flag in front of it, and it's like it's so unsettling that like even in New York you know, in a very diverse um, city, I walk two blocks down and I have to see this big ass Trump flag, you know, and it makes me wonder like, what do these people think about me when I walk past their house? You know, are they like telling Mm -hmm. me, are they looking at me like, oh, I wish she steps just one step over, just, just, oh, let her touch my lawn. You know what I mean? It's just so Mm -hmm. unsettling. Yeah. It's now, what do you guys have to think about? Oh, sorry. What do you guys have to think about? Um, some people are saying the only reason why the two men got arrested was because Kim Kardashian got involved and she made that tweet out. And, you know, she's into that whole, like, reform system and, like, legal 
thing now. So do you guys think that had anything to do with them actually getting arrested or you just think that was the court, it just was like a coincidence almost? I would say this. I think Kim saw, I think Kim and Ka well, Kanye saw the black people making a move and he say, baby, you see what's going on, right? Okay. I don't care. Kim, mm -hmm. I don't care. I don't care who did it. I'm just That's glad somebody said. makes this happened in February. We in mm -hmm. March. Right. To, right. Think, mm -hmm. to think that somebody got killed in February and we didn't know about it. Mm -hmm. That's right. the scary part. That's mm -hmm. crazy. That is that we started making noise, and that's what what got it because they had the video. They been had that video, the so it's not time. the fact that oh mm -hmm. they saw that and then oh now they're acting. No, it's us. We're making noise now because somebody yep. liked it, and we're all like, "Yo, y'all wrong. Y'all know y'all wrong. Let's write it. Like, get out of here with that. We're not taking right. this sitting down no more." Like, this is the little no. power that we have. In 2020, this is the power that we have, is that for once mm -hmm. in all of American history, the shit that happens to Black people can get caught on somebody's cell phone and can get released mm -hmm. on social media mm -hmm. and people have their own opinion about what happened. And people don't That's like right. it and people are mad and I know white people don't like to talk about it, but it's been this way. This is the best it's ever been, in fact. It's never right. been better right. than it is right now and it's not good well, now. Mm -hmm. So like, and you feel away, feel away. Because this is what it's been. This is the best it's ever been. So if you see that shit and you feel right. sad, it's like they it was a string of robberies. There have been one robbery in the last like three months in that whole neighborhood. No string of robberies. So this ain't no real citizen arrest. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows that this is the former cop, right? So I mean, realistically, mm -hmm. former cops, what do we really think is gonna happen to them? I know in New York City, as soon as they said they could give citations, people could call 311 on people. I knew black people was going to start getting tackled in the streets. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, that bus is never late. That's why I'm like, at no. least we got some type of tool. I don't care if Kim Kardashian got to do it. I don't care. Make noise. Make something. Noise. That didn't matter. Because if they get convicted, then, I mean, maybe we'll get some little piece of, of peace for ourselves. But it's not like that young man's going to come back to life. No. Can the Kardashian family set up a, a legal firm to save black people? Please continue what you've been doing. I have no problem with Kim Kardashian and using her name or using anything to, to assist the movement at all. That's why right. I'm at with it. I, 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 listen, let me just say something to you. There's some good black white people and there's some bad white people. Kim just happened to be one of them good white people. I like yeah. you, Kim. If you watching mm -hmm. us, sir, can't wait to meet you, boo. Keep doing what you do. Right. You let That's black people out of jail that mm -hmm. shouldn't have been in jail in the first damn That's place. Right. So you know what? Mm -hmm. ain't, no, ain't, none of our, ain't none of our black celebrities got their ass out there and did none of that. Unless it's their cousin or something, right. okay? Honestly, so let's so, talk about mm -hmm. it. That's, so that That's she a got fact. On. That's that yeah, justice show that that she got on. Like That's a solid show, y'all. Watch it. Where, where does it come on? The justice show. Tell me about it. I think that it comes on. It's one of the women's channels. I want to say it's on. Uh, it's on. I think it's Oxygen. Oxygen. Okay. Oxygen. You know I they play it. Snapped and all the other things about exactly. women. Exactly. And then yep, the that's it. In the middle of that, they'll have this Kim Kardashian Justice Project. And the thing I like is she just steps to the side and let the people who really do the work, like the Osborne Society and everybody like that, like mm -hmm. she'll just let them talk about what they do and and just okay. step aside and talk and let people who have been give the platform really because because how about this let me just give you a note this has been around before kim kardashian and nobody was talking about it this project mm -hmm. has been around but she mm -hmm. stepped in when she married a black man and thought about the injustice for her little black children she has now that could mm -hmm. these things could happen to her little mixed children mm -hmm. running around here and she's not here right. to watch her pretend, okay Right. That's, that's the same thing. I'm not, mad. I'm not mad at nobody that's helping the black race. I'm not mad yeah. at people that's helping the race, period, because we have been underprivileged and deprived for too long. And that's why we so angry. That's why we so scared. That's why we are afraid to, and we so competitive with everything in ourselves, because we don't know how to love each other because they turned us against each other. Okay? Mm -hmm. I ain't even going to talk about that. Right. Go ahead and take your next picture because that'll get me all upset. I'm getting upset. <laughs> Right, oh let's, yeah. Let's get our spirits together. Well, you know, I think at I think at the end of the day, we we have to have our allies. Everybody uh, that is exactly. for uh, the cause does not have to be black. However, I do mm -hmm. feel as black people, we should still have a plan. So when our allies who are not black that have the money, they know where to put it. Instead of being like, I have the money, so where do I go now? So. 
I feel in my opinion, you know, I'm a black woman. I have a black voice. I've, I, I've had experience. And at, this, at the end of the day, you, you can be an ally or you cannot be an ally, but I'm not chasing people who are not black to come join us to fight the fight. I'm gonna do what I have oh, to no. do as a black mm-hmm. woman and mm-hmm. have a plan and work my shit. And if you wanna donate or help, you can do that. I think some people have that part confused and I feel that as a black community, we should always have a plan. We should already be putting in action so people like that can come in and can make a difference. Help us make a difference. We are already making the difference and we're doing the dirty work. But they can come in and mm-hmm. put that, you know, influence so it can spread more worldwide. You know what I'm saying? Just putting more icing on the cake. But we're doing the work at the end of the day. So, yes. yes. So, as we that. end this topic, I heard someone talking. No, so I'm wrong. just, it's just sad and scary that, like, you know, I have to sit here and have this conversation with my children. Um, You know, like, that when my my son especially my son as a young black male you know because he's i'm puerto rican but my kids you know they have puerto rican have trini so Mm -hmm. you know my kids i have to have this conversation with them especially my son and i'm you know that's a conversation that like i'm not looking forward to like like giving him that wake-up call but i know he's gonna need it you know and i hate that Mm -hmm. we have to like talk to our children and they don't they don't see color until we tell them that they have to see color and that's like that's the scariest um, part. That's the worst part of it because as children, they're so innocent and they're so pure and everything is love and they don't, you know, but even now my son is at the age where he'll be like, oh, you see that man with the white face, you know, and, and oh, that, 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 mm. that guy has, he looks like me. He has, he's brown like me, you know, and I'm like, damn, you five years old and you over here like differentiating people by the color of their skin and I try to teach him that that's not how he should but then he's going to get to an age where now I do have to talk to him about that. And I do have to teach him that, right. you know, because of how he looks, um, he has to move a certain way and, and behave a certain way and, and carry himself a certain way rather than mm-hmm. you're a human being and this is how you should act. I have to be like, you are a black human being and this is how you need to be. Like mm-hmm. that's right. really one of the most like disheartening conversations that I, I have to have with my children at some point. But hopefully... Mm-hmm. Well, it's like definitely important to have the it's definitely important for us to have a conversation with our children and that's that's what we have to keep doing but we're going to move on to the next section and this is our conspiracy theory we're going to give it over to Chantel. hold on monica somebody's just showing me the screenshot of the youtube and it's it's offline I'm aware. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. Let's get into it. Somebody just sent me a screenshot, though. Heads up. I don't know if this YouTube is, is on, is live right now, or if it's offline. We just, we just flowing. Oh, okay, cool. Just make sure. keep everything after. We just flowing. Okay, cool. Somebody, I just got people hitting me up. I was just making sure everybody on the same Tell page. Them anyway. on. Tell them to log on. Just get on. Okay. Well, in any case, uh, that's too much to do right now. But let's get into the conspiracy <laughs> section of the of the evening because i mean there's enough conspiracy going on we already done covered half of them in the beginning part of this show with between all the things going on with the police and all the things going on with vaccines but let's cover the most basic conspiracy first which is that the coronavirus doesn't even exist y'all am i the only person who heard this i can't be the only person who heard this. no i heard it this is the ultimate i'm gonna touch you can i touch you <laughs> Alternative theory is that it does exist, you know, and the rest of us are in the house for a reason. Real conspiracy theory is that it doesn't exist, that we're in the house for some some larger corporation's reason, or because somebody wants us to use more 5G, or because the big corporations are trying to get us to switch over to all online mode. I've heard a lot of things. I don't know what y'all heard about why the virus isn't real. Listen, I heard that they want us in the house by eight o'clock so they can bring in the army. So when they shut the city down, martial law. There you go. That's what yeah. I heard. 
I heard that too. Yeah, I heard yeah. that they wanted us to get to a point where we're so scared that we're asking for martial law, like something yeah. that we're mm -hmm. fighting against. Now we're here so scared that we're like, yeah, bring the army in here. Make sure everyone's inside. Like, we all need to stay safe. Um, that one sounds so a little plausible. <laughs> we don't, we're not going to know what happened until after this is all over in 50 years when they release the CIA. Yep. I'm right, just right. I'm just wondering what y'all heard on the streets, on the streets about what I heard. Not be real. It had to do with that whole thing we were talking about with the whole vaccine thing. Like they just made it up so they could make a bunch of people take a vaccine, and then it would have all these like bad things happening afterwards, basically. Yeah. Like micro I heard that too. That like they do that mm -hmm. in a cycle, like every couple of years on purpose. Exactly. Like they, oh, Something happened in the lab, and now you need this vaccine because somebody mm -hmm. effed up in the lab. Like, what? Why is that happening every couple of years? Like, what is up? <laughs> All I'm saying is there's too many movies with the same plot. Too many movies <laughs> with the same goes virus. That they prepare too many for movies with the same preparation. The only damn thing they didn't do was make a zombie yet. I ain't seen no oh, damn zombies. Okay. No, 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 no. They already have. All you gotta do is shut down the pharmacy. You seen people waiting in line and Dwayne Reed? Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. They did have zombies. Y'all remember them dab on bath salts? Bath salts? Yeah, hey, yeah you up? right. Uh-uh, we, we don't already had that. That was scary. Oh, and we not, not any zombies. That, the bath salts and the synthetic weed, That's too. Good. That whole thing, too. Yeah, the Happy synthetic cool. weed. Yeah, that was Have people laid out in the street just looking dead. Like, it, yeah. no, they done already did that. Hey, if you <laughs> shut down Popeyes, you gonna see them zombies. Oh, oh yeah. Let me say something to you. I think them Popeye chicken sandwiches had something to do with this damn I do, too. I, I do, too. I had two and oh, I was She stop. said the Popeye yeah. sandwich. Come on, come on, good skin. You know your immune system is up for it. Stop. I don't eat no Popeyes. I said. <laughs> I ate know, that sandwich too many times for y'all to say that. I, I, almost, I almost realize now that unless people are literally walking around looking like zombies when they're sick, that Americans will not believe that people are really sick. Because, like, <laughs> it don't matter how many stories people tell, it don't matter who dies, it don't matter who got a, on a respirator, it don't matter what celebrity, what regular person, whose uncle or baby mama, you know. People are like, I don't know, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was like, also, it, it has to be a zombie apocalypse for y'all to stay home. That's what we talk about. We can't right. just that, or somebody has to die that's close to them, and then they're like, "Holy crap, it's real!" <laughs> real. Uh, what he really yeah. <laughs> oh, Negroes are dropping like hotcakes. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if it's Corona or the nurses. I don't look. I don't think they train. I don't think. Okay. People, I don't think they've been trained for this right here. Well, yeah, they're no. crazy. like nobody was prepared to be on the front lines of a pandemic. Mm, no, it hasn't happened in, in like 50 years at least. It was never put into the training when people go to classes. I don't even think they got pandemic training, they just start now trying to give us uh, what is it, safety sanitation training for all this new stuff of how to be safe. So, we didn't have nothing on no pandemic, mm -mm. right? No, 1918 was the last pandemic. And, and you know, we, we might not have got it together then if it was really bad here. So I'm glad that we had less people in 1918, because- Wow. Okay. Yeah. I mean, but the, the other problem is, is that America has too many real conspiracies for people to even be sure right now which one of yeah. these that we're talking about might not be. Because maybe the virus, mm -hmm. but one thing you know is that people are going to try to make money off the crisis. Mm -hmm. so, so that's going to be part of the conversation no matter what because this is mm -hmm. always going to be America landed a dollar and then freaking Elon Musk coming on TV acting like an oppressed an oppressed human being because he got to mm -hmm. stay in his house and I'm like okay billionaire <laughs> right. about how you got to stay in your multi-million dollar mansion yeah, so what like, you Amazon, Bezos is winning Bill Gates is winning but like when you think of like football, NFL, anything that require people to get together, or that work. Part of capitalism is dying. Or work. Mm -hmm. yeah. Work dead. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So yeah. people want people to get back to work. That's what Donald Trump's hearing in the other ear. He's hearing people go, well, you know, we got to get mm -hmm. them back to work or else we won't make any money. But what happened to the robots? Like, what happened to the robots that y'all, this 5G was going to put to work so I ain't got to work? Like, I'm not trying they to go back to work. They were never robots. <laughs> Did you promise me? 
<laughs> you promised. And there are not enough robots. Listen, be careful what you ask for, Monica. Be careful. <laughs> I don't That's want a robot. I've seen too many movies with robots and artificial intelligence. I am scared. No, no robots. Inside right now. Yeah. Who is <laughs> trying to get the AI right? That's why we inside right now. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So got her. They got to get it together so we can't be outside looking at them. But I've yet to have so a they drum they up on They're learning our study habits right now while we in the house. And that's we why we have to <laughs> right We ain't going to have that. Right here. This is zombies. This is robots. This is everything that we're talking about. It's all in here. They hear it all. They see it all. Like, Somebody was telling me something about some conspiracy with TikTok. And I was like, come on, please. You act like every other app in your phone isn't doing the same thing. Like, they don't snap they don't An app ain't going to outsmart a black woman, though. I'm sorry. An app will not outsmart us. I don't care TikTok, what. What is TikTok supposed to be doing? Spying on you. Data. Yes, giving our information to China. I don't know. In and yeah. I'm like, what? So now they know what kind of porn I watch? Like, who cares? Like, <laughs> I mean, I can't porn I watch. you can know what type of porn she watches. It, she, ain't, she ain't scared. That's why she do that erotic. That's what she that erotic poetry. I'm the erotic poetry. We come to the room. Right, the rest of us would be like, even my incognito time? <laughs> The private page? Rose. That whole thing is. I got my that, candle for you, Jay. This is for you, Jay. I put this for you, boo. Uh oh, we're going to have my candle. Stacey, you say something dirty. I was like, oh, What's shit. Up? Put a candle out. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. Oh, man. I think we need so you. Mina, we need you. Wait, no, because there's going to be a new conspiracy. You want to know what, what, what they're going to say now? We got cut off, the, and our YouTube didn't work because we was talking truth. Yep, Wait yep. For that. Okay. They coming after us. Wait they for coming that. after us. Yes. Mm -hmm. They don't want us to win. You know why? Because they said, how the hell, who are they that they got people ready to watch them? They stopped dropping a row at 3 o'clock and all these people to stop. Who are these yeah. women that's not signed up with us already? Who yeah. are these women without a million fake followers? Who are these women? Oh, okay. Oh, man. That's what they said. They felt that realness going to be up here. I ain't worried about mm -hmm. I don't know what two people. Them two people going to tell two more people and two more people going to come back. This is practice right now. I was finding right. my light. I was finding my good light and making sure if I ain't had no makeup, I was going to be able to do this for a whole month. So I see this. Oh, right. That's all. Okay. Keep going. Well, thank go ahead, you. Go. Go ahead. Well, thank you, Chantel, you for know, your conspiracy theory. All right, awesome. Now, uh, you just heard her. Trina's about to give us some uh, shopping tips. Since we're well, talking about conspiracy, what, what you telling us to buy today, girl? Well, girl, where should I start? Where should I start? Should I start with the cookie or should I start with the hair? Which one y'all want to know about first? You know, I like hair, so. Yeah, I'm, okay. going hair. I'm hungry. Okay, well, listen, ladies, listen, listen, listen. Now, you know, we've been stuck in the house and we can't get out, and we've been stuck in the house, boy, boy, stuck in the house, right? So, I found this wonderful pack of hair. This is some, um, uh, I should take out, so I'm gonna take out a little bit so you can see it because it's not fair. But you get the whole kit for $37.99, okay? Seven packs of hair. And this is a uh, passion twist. You know, I got girls in here. So I'm about to do a little passion twist, so, you know. But it comes with everything that you need. Nice, nice little hair, too. Nice little gray to hair. Mm, that's cute. But it gives you the beads, and it gives you the, the uh, crochet pin. Great deal, ladies. Great deal. So you can't get out to your beautician. You got to become your own beautician. It's enough YouTube videos out there to show you how to do it. It ain't that hard. I've been watching, mm -hmm. ready to get it popping. All right? And then... <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but I've been spending a lot of water. They was running for toilet paper. The old school I'm from, I was told to get water. So I had not went out and got cases and cases of water. I was tired of buying water. So I went and found me a Brita. They had them on sale okay. at Target. At Target. had them on sale for $19.99, girl. The perfect deal. Ooh. Ooh, that's smart. Gonna have fresh, fresh, fresh water, girl. Okay. And then, and, and some more stuff coming in the mail. Thank you. Tell them I said, thank you. Be safe. And as I was out today, uh, Parks and Recreation was giving out free masks, y'all. So if you go outside, they're giving out masks and the little black covers. 
So you can make it, you know, a little sexy. You ain't got to just have your hospital mask on. You can put the little black thing. They gave these out free. Parks and Recreation. Thank you, City of New York. Okay. I was out shopping. Oh, that's pretty dope. Yes, and then also, ladies, ladies, y'all, if you haven't bought your, your noonie bath and you haven't been soaking your cookie, here's an internal chlorofresh. It's an internal deodorant. You can put this in your shake. You can take one or two teaspoons, tablespoons, whatever. If you need a lot, take a tablespoon. I don't really need a tablespoon. I use a tablespoon myself. Oh, Lord. I've been doing it for a long time. Before the pandemic, I've been freshening that up in there. Ha, <laughs> ha, Okay. And, uh... What else I got? That's it. Oh, and let me tell you, last week I told y'all I found these at the dollar store. Leave them there. These don't have no fizzle. It's a damn lie. Let me tell you the brand. Whoever, this, whoever made this, Spa Naturals, don't you do this no more. I'm coming for you. Bad review. I don't care if it was a dollar. It's times is hard. All dollars count. All money in. These have nothing but a fizzle. No smell, no nothing. There was no in-home spa. It was not, it disappointed me. Matter of fact, I was upset. I left out from a shower, needed another shower. So don't do this no more. Okay. <laughs> and that's it. Mm -hmm. That is for my oh, thank you. Favorite. Thank you for thank you for sharing your shopping tips, girl. That was very useful. Oh, uh, I'm definitely gonna get that brother. All right, so let's move it on with uh, the money queen, Miss Queen. Candace, what kind of money management tips you got for us today, girl? So I don't know if it's tips, but I want to tell y'all why I'm stressed, right? And I'm stressed because in Atlanta, we had a whole mall full of people running to go get some goddamn Jordans mm. in the middle of a freaking pandemic. <laughs> people out here dying. And y'all worried about some blasted Jordans? First of all, first of all, what kills me is that they they were all pre-ordered. So it's like, what are you running there for? They they not going what are they gonna do? Resell your shoes? Like, why are you here? In the middle of a mm -hmm. pandemic. Y'all are not doing no daggone social distancing. Y'all all up on each other trying to get some goddamn sneakers, and that ain't right. It's not right. We don't no, need the sneakers. The thing you don't Candace need the damn sneakers. You miss it, Candace, is that if you had asked the average person at that mall that day, would you get sick with something that might kill you in order to get your Jordans? Maybe they would have said, yeah, right? Oh, you know what I mean? Lord. That's the risk that we out here taking on a regular with Jordans, is maybe you might die for them Jordans. Where are they going terrible. with them? Or I want to know what them Jordans terrible. look like. You go with God when you buy Jordans. You got to go with God no. when you buy no. Jordans. You no, no. The whole sex appeal stock just goes up. Nothing material should be worth a human life just because you want to go flex on the internet on some freaking TikTok, okay? <laughs> no, we're not doing that. We're supposed to be getting better, not worse. That's worse. Because now you're not even going outside to flex. you in your goddamn house flexing. Why? Why are you doing this? That's the quarantine point. She made points. She made fair points there. Some people so want to be so fresh. Some people want to be so fresh. Is not too. How much? Fresh how much are those sneakers? They're like one hundred and fifty dollars, like, right? Or like more than that? Like two something. The thing is fresh in the house and I'm in the house fresh. Fresh in the house and I'm in the house fresh. Those people are losing their jobs. They can't pay their rent, and they out there spending two hundred dollars. Running to 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 do nothing with them. Cause where are you going? The world TikTok. is closed. The world is closed, bro. I'm sad. Okay. Going. Where is you going? Fresh. Instagram. <laughs> Instagram. Where is you going? They I need you. This, this is what I need my people to do, right? I need y'all to search within and find some self-worth, right? Because if you feel like the human life is worth $200 with some stupid sneakers, we, we got to do better. I can't. Hey, but what if, what if the virus is real? edition of the Jordans goes up to like $1,000 after this? I don't care what is going huh. on. You that's running the, outside to get it is the problem. Now, you can just ship it to your damn house or something. Fine, that's cool. Buy whatever, you know, listen, hold it for stocks for later because I know there are Jordan resellers. Y'all mad smart, right. by the way. I love y'all. But listen here. The people who ran out there to die because you don't know whether you was going to live or not. <laughs> right? We're going to find out in about two weeks. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a terrible pass off to me. Let me uh, let me just oh. see whether I die in two weeks or not because of these sneakers. Man, what? No, cut it no out. way. 
and you heard it from the queen, so don't be going out there buying you some Snickers just so you can stunt on TikTok. Okay. It ain't worth it. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, before we go to uh, the next topic, we're going to tune over to our youth activist, Miss Jasmine Ballou. She has some Hi, information guys. for the youth and some mental health with the youth. What's up, girl? So I have a mental health tip for the day. And basically, I was looking up ways so that people can kind of still stay like out of depression and motivated during the uh, quarantine. So a good tip is basically making a routine. And it doesn't necessarily have to be like a nine to five type of routine where it's really, really strict, but just making sure that you're waking up in the morning at like a good time, taking a shower and doing whatever makes you feel good. So whether that's like brushing your teeth, doing your hair, it's really easy for a lot of people to just kind of like stay in bed all day or not do your hair for a long time. Not even maybe some people might not be brushing their teeth or whatever. So making sure that you're still doing things to like make yourself feel good. I don't know, girl, but some people might be, you know, <laughs> I saw some of y'all faces, y'all was like, Ooh. but they, that's what I'm saying. Like making sure that you're not getting depressed. Cause I feel like a lot of people might not be used to this isolation for so long. You know what I mean? So even, even within work, in the house, you got to brush your teeth. <laughs> yes, please. Right, it's still the same teeth, the same teeth. Okay. We're going to be able to tell you didn't brush your teeth during that quarantine. So make sure you're brushing your teeth. I'm weak. Oh, yeah. And then um, within like working at home, it's good also to take like little breaks, like for your wellness. So like taking walks, um, practicing your breathing, or even like listening to music. They're all tips that are, like I found were pretty good for like, you know, staying at home, but still working during the quarantine. Do you guys have routines that y'all are doing right now? What'd you say? I said, do you guys have routines that you guys are doing right now? Brushing my Like that you've already installed? Definitely brush my teeth. I meditate in the morning. I use something called the Calm app, and I use that for meditation in the morning. I try to give myself 10 minutes before I start my day. Oh, you nice. Yeah, I do meditation and prayer myself in the morning and work out. Yeah. Nice. For me, I right thought now, because I've been cooking and eating and uh, eating and cooking, uh, and wearing the fat suit, sweat suit, you know, I gotta, I gotta have a routine. That's also been relieving my anxiety that I've been having. Oh, nice! Yeah, that's yeah. good. See, I, I started to have a little bit too much energy and I wasn't in a strict routine at first because I felt mm. like my alone time and all that other stuff, it's not really overwhelming or depressing mm -hmm. in particular. So like if you fall into depressions, your routine just start like yesterday. You should have already had a routine. You just ain't realize it yet. But if mm -hmm. the right. is confident, then it's like you definitely do. But because I get anxious and I want to do stuff and I want to go places, my morning routine is wake up, dance around my room to music, while I still got some energy, stretch my creaky self out, you know, stretch my shoulders, stretch, stretch my neck, stretch my back, right? And then do a little workout while my heart rate's already up, you know? Because I'm about to sit in front of a computer yeah. for the next few mm -hmm. hours. I'll be talking to people. Yeah. If, I'm, if I'm really stressed and my mind is not in the right place, I'll pull a tarot card in the morning and just, oh, wow. and just meditate on whatever the lesson is of the single card that comes up. And that tends to be good enough to clear it a little bit and then I can move on. Get Mm. Yeah, that sounds nice. that sounds really good. You know, I do this, y'all. It's my job. <laughs> yeah. Well, well definitely, it's, it's definitely important to um keep a routine going on, so you're not so you have somewhere to put that anxiety anxiety that access energy that we're used to having when we're running around doing our day to day. So speaking of about speaking of um running around, Miss J. Rose got some events for us. Even though you can't run around on foot, you can run around on the internet, girl. Let us know what's up. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Me as an event curator, I had to find something, a way to like continue doing events. So I've been dabbling in a lot of virtual stuff. Uh, so I got a little rundown of a couple things that our wonderful audience can do. Um, I even have something tonight. I am hosting a Netflix and quarantine watch party. Um, and actually watching a movie every night with my family has been my routine. So tonight, you know, I kind of made this a bigger thing. And um, so people can tune in and we can watch. We're, we're doing a horror movie night. So we're going to do Amityville Horror, which is really spooky. Um, I love scary movies. So if you're into that, you can definitely um, reach out to me and get the info. Everything's on Eventbrite. 
um, this Friday, there's two amazing events going on. We have Miss Yamina, who is hosting a burlesque workshop. Where's my pole? Yes, I'm all for it. Um, so it's going to be at 8.30. It's a virtual event. And then when you're done getting real sexy with Yamina, you can join me on Facebook Live and watch my virtual open mic. If you're interested in performing, you can sign up on Eventbrite. Um, all the performers are in a Zoom room, and then we're streaming through uh, Facebook Live. So get sexy, you know, do your little thing, and then maybe you can show us your skills <laughs> at the open mic. Um, it's open to all art forms, so dance is definitely one of them. Now, if you really, really get really good from this workshop, right, you really pay attention and you learn burlesque really well, you could actually come and join me on Sunday night for our, we have a bi-weekly erotic virtual open mic. So please come through. I'm dying for some burlesque dancers to join. Um, <laughs> yo, Monica is killing me right now. <laughs> what is going on in that corner? <laughs> This is real sexy over there right now. Um, mm -mm. Like, yes, get to get work out your uh, burlesque skills and definitely show them off at our erotic open night, open mic night. It's more private, so it's all on Zoom. We're not streaming it anywhere because it's more mm -hmm. of an intimate kind of situation. But you can view or you could perform if that's your thing. <laughs> I'm done. Um, and then in a couple of weeks. We have um, Miss Queen Candice from the Queen Blueprint, who is hosting a virtual first-time home buyer workshop. Yeah. So I'm hearing that right now is a really good time to look into buying a home um, because of the way mm -hmm. the market has gone. So if that's something that you have as a goal and you're really looking to learn how to navigate yourself through that process, I suggest that you really tune into that workshop especially if you're a first time home buyer there's a lot of questions and things that we do not know and i think that you have a lot of questions answered um by uh, tuning into that and that is june 6th is a saturday and then finally we have um again yamina who it already started it's an ongoing fundraiser for art of legion did i say it right legon legion yes you think like legion um legion legion i like that Let's get married. Thank I need you. that name. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, we're hosting various workshops and they're raising funds for the artists that are under her, her organization. Um, because right now, as you all know, a lot of creatives out there, a lot of the money that we make is by going out and performing and really showing our skills and even teaching um, our skills. And right now, a lot of us can't do that. We can't go outside and we're stuck in like this virtual box right now. So we're raising funds to help some of these artists continue thriving and continue living and surviving. You know, we still got rent to pay. We still got food to put on the table and, and children to feed and all that good stuff. So this is great as an ongoing fundraiser. It's already started. So I'm sure there's a way to like get all the information if you want. You can link to any one of us on Instagram, Facebook, email, whatever it is, and we'll lead you to the right direction, whatever you want. But yeah, that's what we got going on. So I hope to see y'all there. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! Thank you so much, J Rose. Thank you for all of the events. Yes. So I'm a, um to I'm going to take it to the comment board real fast. We have AK Ahmed. They said it's humbling that strong women are leading this. Yes. Thank you. I don't know if y'all saw, but I, I saw the message come up. So this is the first day of our make make lemonade talk show. We're going to be doing it every Tuesday at 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And uh, you can catch us wherever you're at in the world. Just make sure you tune in. You can follow us at Young Boss Media TV on Instagram. You can check Young Boss Media on Facebook. You can go to youngbossmba.com so you can become a VIP. And then there it can lead you to our YouTube Live or our Facebook Live. And I want to thank you all so much for tuning in and watching our discussion. And thank you so much, ladies, for putting in your ones and twos, your little this and that, and the tips and the events and conspiracy theory, theory all of those good things. 
We discuss what's going on with politics, what's going on with our health, and we want to make sure that we're staying educated as a people. You can follow all of us. Our um, Instagram handle will be in the chat. You can also um, go to one of our pages and you'll see uh, our links. And mm -hmm. I'm your girl, Yamina Lejean. Thank y'all for tuning in. See you next week. Peace. 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 Peace.